Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 21 of Valdez the Ring Road City here in City Skylines. So, in the previous episode uh, we concluded that we had a lack of crops over here because we had some imports going on. So I decided to build crop fields over here and eventually later on also the forestry area over here. And we ended up here with all kinds of warehouses and whatnot. And I would show you what I have done, you know, to uh, make the transport looking solid. Because we are playing with despawn mode off. And what I did was actually this. Now, as you can see, you see how far these guys are driving into the building. And if you click on this button, lane connectors, now you see what is happening over here. Now it seems a little bit complicated, I even did it all the way up to here. Now, let's say these guys come with their goods. Yeah? They can drive into here, they can deliver their goods, they can drive around and go back there. Here, they can switch lanes, but only one lane, no three lane switching because that is bad. Uh, they can then... Or they can choose to drive in here and go to this silo. Yeah, or move on and go to that silo. But let's focus a little bit on these silos. So, you know, they come into here. And with this mod, you know, called the building spawn mod, you can determine where a truck will spawn or despawn. Now, I have been going around the city a little bit here and there. And I did that on more places where I thought like, well, that's a good place to to do it anyway to get people in so I don't know where I did it more I mean there are multiple places where I did it also what I did um, that was my thought initially this is a farm area and this is a farm area but I thought that the you know uh, import here was caused by the fact that that this farm area was stood loose of this so what I did was I actually connected them into one hoping that this would solve the problem but no it did not solve the problem because if we click a general building here and we click on area info we still have import okay now let's figure out what is going on here because i was just thinking do we have a lack of warehouses no we don't because this thing is not even filled up are there too many freight trucks in use? No, there are not. Do we have enough workers? Sure. But look at this. What do we have here? We have like no uneducated workers here. And then it started to hit me. I thought to myself, okay, warehouses. Now go to these places. Now they are filled up with crops. And we have like 45 workers. But look. Look at the uh, amount and types of workers. This is a crop factory filled with stiffs, you know, people with only, <laughs> you know, uh, ties that does that they do not the, the, the work that is needed to be done. Uh, I'm kind of surprised by that because in the city I have a lot of areas where I have like people, you know, without education uh, to do this kind of work. Um, I also noticed if we click on the menu, uh, let me see where did I saw that, no, let's try to find that button again, uh, where is that export, oh, here we have it, here we have it, export, no, import, we are importing this amount of goods and even forestry products, now this tells me that we are lacking normal factories. Um, now, if already we don't have enough workers for the factories, and we also need regular factories, then we really need to have like a bunch of more workers available. So, I was thinking about, okay, then where to start? Where to start? Now, aside from that, I did also some other few things. I um, connected this road up here. You know, I put this uh, interchange over here. I put this road straight there and for the rest I made this road that goes into this area come into nothing because who knows what I want to do with this area, I don't know yet. And for the rest um, I meddled around a little bit with this thing, also with the same principle as you can see if you click on this. 
they can get out if needed you know if they want to switch lane they can go there you know towards uh, the around here and then to this thing which is actually not making sense I mean you come out of here and then you go to there but anyway it is possible okay then so where to where to, where to start you know we need uneducated people and we need more regular industries that's for sure um, well I've been thinking about those regular industries we have like a few you know patches over here if we click the zoning area like that we have like only here there there and I think this is all grabbing all, all workers over here and here a little patch so those are very tiny patches if you ask me so what I want to do is actually create more area for industry but the question is where now uh, the game is a little bit laggy somehow I don't know why is it set to oh the game speed is set to normal let's slow this down a little bit that makes the game a little bit smoother now I think it's very important not to uh, where is it um, over here for example we should not cluster this stuff too much around you know otherwise it creates too much traffic so where can we put more industry uh, that's a good question I think this would be a good spot yeah I think so the question now is how do we get there <laughs> well as usual I did not really thought this out it's like uh, okay you know I figured out a an issue and uh, tried to solve it without trying to figure out how to even get a road there hmm so typical me um, okay okay how are we going to do it we need we need uh, um, okay this is yeah maybe you don't want to connect it to this area as well so it's um, okay uh, this is like making me sick <laughs> uh, this is the fishing industry okay so they are connected through here to that road over there which is not connected to here well in, th in theory we can make uh, an extra road coming from here that they bring it to here yeah, yeah that would be possible that would be possible okay let's just try something out because we have to do something otherwise this will fail so it's now uh, the date today is now what is the date actually in the 24 March and uh, after all the mud mod upgrades uh, we finally um, well have the game running finally okay let's uh, grab this road and let's take it from here uh, like that and then although uh, no 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 we are doing it from here <laughs> here we go again okay let's make a bend then from over here and we need to go underground oh yeah we love to go underground as usual yep we go there and then we go can we go exactly behind this thing oh yeah we can so we do it like this and then make it straight again and then go up thank you oh it works nice so we can create like a extra yeah an extra area here for export and even bring out a road maybe from here to there somehow otherwise they have to go back all that oh mama <laughs> What did I self my what did I self my get myself into? Okay, let's let's keep this nice and straight, like from there to there. Why can't this not be straight? It's like you know you. Like hmm, I wonder. You know, just a twenty, another twenty. Okay, ten. Now sometimes I wonder how much. Um, yeah how much if you add because now you see now we have like a straight area 
I want to connect it also somehow up here. I mean, it must be possible. Come on, it must be possible. Or do we create more traffic? Oh man, I'm completely... Uh, what is this building? Institute of Created Art. Okay, you can you can switch over. You can switch to that side. Thank you. Much, much obliged. So, we take this road. And bring it all the way from here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we bring it all the way from here. How far is it to that path? It's like 19. Um, okay. 19, 13. Nah, this is good enough. Yeah. Yeah. 12. So, that is conflicting with that metro or train line, whatever it is. So, we need to go down a little bit further. Let's see. How far? Oh, come on. Really? You know what? I'll, I have another idea. So this is, is 12, right? We bring it just to the other side. And then what we do here is just we grabbing this thing, whatever this thing is. It's a metro. Is that train or metro? I cannot even see it. Like that. And then we just bring it down. Zoop, like that. And then it will fit. Yeah, then it will fit. Okay. Let's get back here. Uh, this is the area where I want to connect it to. Oh, this looks so nice. <laughs> oh, this looks so nice. Oh, so nice. Oh, so nice. Oh, oh, okay. I've not played the game for a while uh, because of all these, you know, updates that have to, had to uh, be implemented. It was like, yeah, every time when uh, there's a new DLC, we have like tons of upgrades to do and that brings also tons of headaches yeah headaches <laughs> now let me see here so how far is it from here to that road is like 21 minus 6 is 15 so we do like tdd -d 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 15 yeah we can do that 6 by 6 here and that is connected perfect here we go so we need a lot, well, a lot, I mean, a lot, I mean, not a lot, but I mean, when I started this map, I said to you guys, like, you know, only small patches of industry, not too much, because otherwise you get, like, clumped up traffic. You don't want that. Very bad for business. Anyway, uh, let's fill this area up. Zoop. And zoop. And these roads, uh, they don't have parking, so I have to take care of that as well. So, parking there, parking there, parking there, parking there, there, and there. And uh, let's see, one over there, nice. One little city park in the middle of an industry area. Okay, that will do. And maybe the option of, I don't know, maybe to um, attach it to the highway. So we have four lanes going into three. Mm, that does not work. That does not work really well. Um, how about this? Could work. Um, yeah, it's... it's mm -hmm pretty delicate actually if you ask me um three two you know what let's just try it we take it from here and then let's say from there and then up to there uh, let me pick this piece and upgrade that no no we're not going to upgrade that we are going to remove it Twink, you go away so, uh, yeah, we need now the three lane, this one, and then we pick the four lane again, and we put it there and there. And this should not give any issues uh, so far, so bzzz, make a nice bend here, grab this, you know what, and then you pick only these lanes and these lanes, you know, let the rest go, I mean, um, it's not worth it of, uh, you know, monkeying around with do those other things so these guys are now building up some for some part and we uh, the strange thing also is like we don't have any residential demand 
So the other option that I have for these guys and is the so-called industry 4.0. Now I have no idea if we go to Garland Park, which is, uh, let me check out this entire area. Let me make sure it's big enough like that. Now we have something called industry 4.0. Now the thing is with industry 4.0, if we go to policies, industry 4.0. Now the catch is I cannot really see, you know, if this has, um, if this applies to the place where the work is done or to the place where the people are living. Now let me read this carefully. Um, the new technologies alter the nature of the industrial workforce. All industrial workplaces are for well and educated citizens. Increases production output by 50% reduces workplaces per zone industry. So I think it has, it is applied to the actual zone. Okay. So here we are going to tap this button and see if that will change something. You know, something, something. But we need more workers anyway. So, yeah, more workers. Let me, th let me see. This area I already dedicated as being workers. Um, these guys actually not. No. Um, Valderia residential policies also I, I think not services no not schools out so maybe this is a good spot to begin yeah, yeah to get more workers uh, in here because also we have industries over here I think that would be a good idea to get more workers, yes. So let me grab the two-lane road and also the two-lane road with parking, which is uh, two, three. Mm. Hmm, I love this new new search button that they uh, implemented there, yeah. Uh, this road, yeah. Okay, now we are going to policies, and here we are going to say uh, services. Where is that thing? Schools out. Now, is there anything that we can make this area more interesting uh, to get people to work? Tax relief for high density residential. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? To lure in the peeps. Okay, now uh, we need. Yeah, we, we do need a little bit of schooling. So I just grab the simple elementary school. Unless do we have something else? You know, for a change, an elementary school. Maybe this one with a student capacity of 200. It's a small building, but that's that's no problem. Uh, let's put that over there, one and one over here, and we combine that with the child healthcare service. So we place this one over there, and this one over there, and yeah, I think that's okay. So uh, then a few items to lure them in. In this case, a few city parks, so we can put a city park there, one over there, one over there, 
and let's say one over there and let's put up some speed there and let's try to fill this area up despite the fact we barely have any demand but sometimes these buildings they will build eventually and here I see a little bit of ah okay so this is like eight blocks okay so we are going into the Rico buildings and we are going to find something that is a nice eight eight by something oh eight by five gotcha gotcha you can go there how much did do do 44 households okay 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 I can live with that now here I take this path because I mean th this is like you know basically screaming for a connection from from here to that parking lot right I mean that makes sense uh, also here we have a, a point of connection we can make tada and here we also have like a sort of a weird opening so we put like a connection point there nice and then from here to there we do the same thing and then on this side it would be nice to get people from one side to the other um, it's a little bit yeah yeah uh, okay let me turn on that so we doing it more into the other direction like that and then two and then bring this down ah so this these roads are not stretching that far as this road wait a second that's not true the distance from this road this road to this road is three blocks and here it's ex exactly the same also three blocks the distance between this point and the road is two blocks and between here and there is also two blocks oh maybe because this road is straight oh yeah of course okay okay never mind we just drag this a little bit forward just like that and then this we yeah you can already see people walking over it so that's okay and from here let me have a look what can we do from here we can bring this down and from there ah, let's turn that off and then from there to there yeah so people can walk around I mean that's always a good thing let me select that node and that node and do like a little bit closer to the road that's better and let's keep on zoning oh it's still it's so it's still zoned okay fair and square uh, okay what does lure them in even more I know that the yeah the bount, bount, <laughs> bouncy castle <laughs> they love the bouncy castle and if I make sure that there is like a lot of parking there on that main road then you know they're more eager to stop here to get there actually uh, so yeah parking lot there and mm, I think that's enough one of those uh, this this is also not uh, proper I will fix that after I put like a path over here just going from here to there I think that there are um, connection lines here yep just as I thought so maybe we can change this in our favor let me have a look at the whole picture we are between two roundabouts okay so I would say like okay you can only go straight on and right you can go right and not straight on and from here I would say you can go straight on and left yeah let's just see how that will how that will work out okay so let's grab uh, this thing as well because it's not entirely perfect so click click ah, it does not work okay then we do it like this thank you uh, 
Okay, that is not bad. So this is now... These are workers. That's nice. That's nice. So we are gaining now people. And how many people do we have here now? 815 adults and 107 children. Uh, they will uh, be educated. Um, we don't even have a high school. Ah. You know, I wonder if that is e even needed in this area. High school. Well, te technically, it makes no sense if if people come from an people if <laughs> you know if those kiddos come from an elementary school. Now, let me think about my own time in elementary school. It was like, okay, I was 11 years old. So, what do they expect if you are 11 years old and you go to work? No, you go first to the high school and then you are 17 years old, and then you go work in the mines. So here, so you got a Phoenix High School. Which is uh, hopefully enough, but we can also put one over here. Yeah. And and still, it, it, it fills up, you know, gradually. Gradually it fills up. They can make use of this parking lot if they want to. And to make sure that they also... Let me see. That the trash is collected. We can put that here. We also already have two of these, but you can never have enough of those. <laughs> when we make this road there and uh, a nice bend, three by three, like that. How far is this? Five. Oh, that's not good enough. How far is it now? It's like 9 by 11. Okay, so then this is supposed to be a 6. This is 2 and 4, which is 6. So then this will also be a 3 by 3. And ta-da, we have a connection. Let me check this out. Does this have lines? It does not have any lines whatsoever. Does it require lines? Uh, let me oh, let me remove those. There we have lines. Well, uh, yeah, you know, those roundabouts are pretty far from each other, so... Um, we can always always see how it goes, you know? We can say, like, okay, you and you, and we turn these off. Uh, we turn these off, and in this case, you know what? Give way signs. I'm not fond of those things, but let's use them for this time. You know, you, you never know, and... We use like a pedestrian bridge thingy over here. So you go there and you go there, there and there. Then four down there, then four down. Come on, come on. Come on, yeah, thank you. Also there. Doink, like that. And now I'm think now I'm thinking about it. You know, actually. Actually, this path is pretty ugly. There is like this other path, which is very much more likable to see. So let's grab me this tool. Yeah, this one I like far more, you know? Actually, just the visuals of it. Look, I don't know. It's like, just like it more. So I don't even, to, I don't even have to put like, you know, pathways down here because they can just scoot around and uh, they're there. So let me let me see tick 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 and tick and then just one up and then this one tick tick and tick and tick they go one down and I did still saw a what is going on here why is there a pedestrian path visible also on that side huh. That's weird. Still visible. No, I don't see it on this side. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, it was only here on this road. Yeah. I, I think I've seen this. I've seen this. Because if we select... Uh, where is that road? This one. If we change it out with this one, like that... No. No, that was not it. Then this one. Yeah, here we go. Now it disappears. Okay, so let me check this out. This is still... Okay. Yeah, 
think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, this was about uh, the trash. Trash. So trash is a, a noisy business. So what we are doing is like um, the trash service. Okay. So let me then take this road, smaller road that goes from here six to there, and a little bit over there okay so we can then grab the small recycle center and we put one over there and over there very nice with some parking next to it there and there okay guys happy hunting but you give way you guys can carry on not do not cross the this ah, again this road does the same thing it's not the same as this one then apparently okay weird 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 okay let me remove those as well and then just add I destroyed something here I noticed now suddenly let me add a crossing here crossing yeah like that and then a path this path from there to there yeah and then here we say like carry through the junction it's all fine and here I noticed that I destroyed this path probably when I was updating this road like a few minutes ago right so these guys can collect even more stuff that's nice and uh okay so all in all uh does this have any effect now on our you know on our island over here do we have now more workers available here let me see we still don't have any workers here and even with the uneducated, no, uh, with the uh, Industries 4.0 tab. How about these things? They are also still pretty empty. Now this is really, really weird. These guys do, do produce, but you know, even these guys have probably... Uh, freight trucks and use one workplaces 30 does not say what did I turn on the uh, industries 4.0 here I thought so policies city planning yeah it does so if that's the case why are, why is no why is nobody working there as an uneducated person oh my gosh I, I think I need a lot more of those guys also, let's not forget that I put like this area over here. And um, yeah, and also let's not forget that these guys need to store their stuff somewhere. So let's grab this thing and put it here. Or here. Nah, here's fine. So we put in here commercial zone goods. Not sure if I used the, the uh, building spawn points on this thing. No, I did not. So technically, uh, there's a fence. Okay. And yeah, you would think that they will drive there. Okay. Let me monkey around with this. So we are going to move to the side, all the way there. Let's say they Let's say they enter here, and then oh, that's the wrong way. How far can we go? I think this is far enough. So we enter and then we apply this to all the buildings of this type. Yes, for all the small warehouses. So they will really enter it on there. Do not hamper the traffic over here. Perfect. That's exactly uh, what I need. Maybe also because we have so many um, 
that could also be a thing. We have like so many highly educated people that we also might need some officers. Yeah, so where can we snug in some officers? Actually, um, in a place where, well, that's a good question. Um, so this place, yeah, for residential, these guys are like educated, right? Policies. Uh, services schools out is not activated okay so what we can do is like we can put just some offices around here at the main road I mean that is not a problem because offices are not really causing um, problems uh, with tra mm, traffic except uh, the space here is a little bit mm, tight uh, and that will not work, so let me remove that one, that one, also this little piece, and this, that can be filled up, that will work, even that can work, yeah, this can work, this can work, uh, yeah, they are already, already building, so I remove those two, we put one over there, we can even put a little one over there, yeah, it's just a little, you know. And even put a few here, you know, offices on these parking lots. Why not? Mm, okay, you did like that. Wonder why this stuff is over here, but wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's get out of here and we go to this place and we find something four by four and just plant it there. Done. Here we go, we have a nice tower. Here we can like uh, put like highly educated people. Yeah. So, um, look at that, you know, how many people are walking through this park. How much does it... No, it's nice, you know, the big park in the middle. It yields. Okay, so, uh, final verdict uh, as of now. We are still making money. Um... It's like, it's like, I yeah, what exactly is the reason for this situation is still unknown to me, even though I changed it uh, that these crops are now uh, integrated with this farm, but as it would seem, it's not so much about the crops, because these guys over here, you know, they're stuffed with crops. Yeah. Four by four workers. Maybe that's the whole problem. Maybe we just have too many of these. Ah, yeah, that that could be a thing, actually. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, delete all these. Just like... Let me see that. Tink. So those people can get can go home now. Uh, let me remove these parking lots. Bye. Yeah, so they they are more now reserved for the for the other ones, for the other areas and then we will see where it will uh, if that will help a little bit. And for the rest I think like it's like um yeah, in the next episode um you know what I'm going to do uh, off screen between episode 21 and 22 is like I'm also going to incorporate this area as a you know a workers zone where people uh, well where people just uh, go live study a little bit and then go to uh, jobs at factories yeah we will see how that will go in episode 22 so guys and girls thank you for watching this episode 21 Hope you still like it, and uh, hope that uh, yeah, that you also have your game working again after all the troubles it had. And uh, but uh, yeah, it can be tricky every every time when new DLC is coming out. But uh, yeah, 
it's just a matter of uh, watching that Steam Workshop and uh, keep an eye on those listings and the compatibility report to check out which mods are uh, not needed anymore or which are um, break the game and it's like so much you know it's it's so difficult per individual to determine so but anyway for me in my case I have it working again I'm happy with that and uh, well let's hope that we can make this city bigger I also um, after building this road up to here I started to rethink about you know the extra big ring road around the city and I was and I was really thinking about geez where do where can I even put it that extra ring road because the ring road function would be like you know to have a ring road around an area but not not have like direct connections of it you know they have to basically drive in here and then first you know take the ring road and then go off somewhere else now also I've been thinking about making more space by for example making these things more I don't know bent in like that close to the highway and then make sort of a very tight curve like that could help you know because this area is pretty large if you if you look at it and I have more of those so that is something we might be able to experiment with in the next episode but anyway guys and girls thank you for watching and I would I would say up until episode 22 see you guys bye bye